nerves travel, and the nerves are the ones that send like the signal. And it starts here on the right one. Okay? Anybody else? You guys can ask. Do not be sure. You can ask anything. Okay? Next question. Yeah, that's less than what's always a common concern. We have something, um, there are a lot of contraindications, which which are a lot of red flags, a fancy word for, for red flags that you do's and don'ts. Like if there was a fracture in the bone, would you want to touch it? No, you really don't, because you're really going to injure that area 10 times worse than it than, than was before. Is there a, a fear of me breaking bones? No. Because when it comes down to it, you cannot have a fear in doing what you do if you know what you're doing. You know, like we've always said, uh, faith and trust. You have to have faith and trust in yourself. And when you have to have the patient build that faith and trust in you in, in order to want to be better because our, our clinic is called Lift Power Practice. Okay, it's L.I.F.T. You know, period. Um, and what that stands for is everything towards, towards us, fitness and health. L is going to be for life and longevity. I is for our body's innate intelligence. Has anybody ever heard of innate and and that's just a fancy way of saying, you know, our body has has its own intelligence to heal itself. Because once you have a cut, what happens? It heals on its own, right? And you see it goes up because that's the main intelligence. F and T is faith and trust. And as a doctor, I have to have faith and trust in me in order for you to, to really want, want to be better. I don't care what kind of doctor you guys go to. If you don't want to be better, you won't be better. Because in, in your head, it starts here. Because one, on, on this standpoint, you won't take your medications, you won't continue seeing and seeing the doctors, so you have to have faith in trust in them. And it's that relationship that you really would have to build. So really, it's, it's building a relationship with, with them. So when you guys go out, and you guys ever, like as a pharmacist, if you ever consult a patient, you have to have their trust. Somehow, some way, you have to break it down. When I come in here, it's hard for me to grasp your attention. Because with, with everybody else, you're looking at me like, why is, why is he here? And this is the face that I see. This is me right here, sitting, sitting right here, and I know. And I'm not picking on you, but yet I definitely know where I was. You have to grasp. It's not easy to come up here and talk to class of what, 30, 20? You have to really relate yourself to somebody. If you were to come up here and, and, and actually talk, you would just go blank. So what you want to have, what you want to do is to grasp their attention, grasp their faith and, and, and their trust, and you know what they will listen to. So when it comes down to it, it starts there. It starts, it starts through what? A conversation. You're paying for what? A conversation. Because basically that that's half the game. You know, when you whenever you see an old person on my hair, hair, dying there, just a conversation will make them feel ten much better than they do on every door And that's 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 you know. Um, no, no. Yes. And so you develop a close relationship with them. I do. On an average, we see doctors, and we see our patients